When they understand that the smell is coming from the surface, they are dismayed that they are unable to breathe outside of the water. The dolphin appears and thanks SpongeBob for causing him to lose his job. Several years previously, according to Bubbles, he had a realization that he needed to change, but he lacked the courage to take action. The animal promises to return the favor by bringing SpongeBob and his buddies safely to the surface. They are caught by Bubbles in his mouth, who then throws them onto the sand. They must successfully navigate that sand sea without being attacked by swimmers. They keep following the distinctive smell of the Krabby Patty. However, they choose to utilize a bicycle because they are in danger of being run over by pedestrians. They swiftly arrive at Burger Beard's food truck, the home of the Krabby Patty, in this manner. The pirate gets surprised by Mr. Krabs and his friends while he is assembling the burgers. The guy is told by the crab to give over the formula, but he protests because the arrival of the main characters from Bikini Bottom is not mentioned in the book. Burger Beard finally admits that all it took was a tail change in order for him to steal the formula. He transports the heroes to Pelican Island using the same resource. When they get there, dozens of birds encircle them and keep attempting to eat them. After Sandy displays the piece of paper she discovered in the water, SpongeBob comes up with a plan to get them out of there. He takes a feather from one of those pelicans and rewrites the conclusion of the tale using the ink that Squidward has discharged. The team vanishes, giving Plankton, who has been hidden in SpongeBob's sock the entire time, the chance to alter the narrative however he pleases. Burger Beard is making more and more money while this is happening at the Krabby Patty's house. But when SpongeBob and his pals show up again, his joy is short-lived. They have superpowers and are considerably larger now. Squidward scares people away with his clarinet, and Patrick draws ice cream to him with the help of his imagination. However, he starts eating them instead of utilizing them as a weapon. The pirate tries to alter the plot while everyone is paying attention, but Mr. Krabs and his mechanical arm stop him. The book is taken by SpongeBob using his bubbles, and as they celebrate their success, the man escapes. Then Sandy shows up, and her friends hardly recognize her because she has transformed into a massive squirrel. Burger Beard is pursued by the squad after they learn he has escaped, and Patrick is able to catch up in time to destroy the enormous starfish. The hero gets shot down when the pirate releases his anchor. They quickly stand up and carry on the pursuit. With some assistance from Squidward, SpongeBob attempts to prevent Burger Beard from obtaining the book by using the anchor. The book lands on the grill. Burger Beard is furious as he watches the book catch fire. Sandy fires a peanut machine gun at him, but he repels the attack with his spatula. Patrick then leaps into action and uses his abilities to draw a ton of ice cream once more. But now that he had succeeded in striking hard, he found himself the victim of his own assault. When victory appeared to be certain, Mr. Krabs shows up and defeats the pirate with his mechanical arms. In response, he is assaulted and tossed away. SpongeBob is currently the only person who can stop the man, but he is being barraged by a large number of cannons. He has the inspiration to generate bubbles around the bullets at that precise moment in order to avoid being shot. His plan initially succeeds, but he is ultimately bombed because he becomes preoccupied with Patrick's injury. Burger Beard takes the formula after defeating every hero and makes an attempt to flee. He didn't anticipate that Plankton would appear there, his entire physical makeup has changed. The pirate hides as he raises the boat. After pulling off many tricks with the boat to confuse Burger Beard, Plankton pokes his head inside and is hurt when the man flings pepper sauce in his eye. He abandons the boat because of the discomfort, and the pirate makes another attempt to escape. Plankton, however, stands up and makes use of cooperation for his benefit. He unleashes a barrage of bubbles to target Burger Beard with SpongeBob's assistance and captures him. Plankton gives the bottle to Mr. Krabs after finding the formula and kicking the pirate back to the island where he had taken the book. When the mission is finished, SpongeBob can finally pen the epilogue, and everyone goes back to Bikini Bottom. Soon, city inhabitants go to the Krabby Patty, where they may once more gorge themselves on Krabby Patties. Everything returns to its previous state. And with that, the movie ends, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next movie.
goodbye.